All right, so look, most struggling investors say the same thing. They say, we need more leads, right? Whether they're looking to acquire, looking to sell their properties. I hear this phrase with our clients and people we worked with time and time again, they say, we need more leads. And it's true, you know, in an aspect, but really when you think about it, you don't need more leads, what you need is better marketing. Now look, it's okay, it, like the truth is most gurus these days are, are teaching outdated tactics, right? They're, they're teaching things from, I kind of like to say, before the internet was born, right? And the truth is in our specific niche lane investing, which I talk about, but really investing in general, once the internet over the last 10 years has really taken off, we've seen exponential growth in this field. And so the landscape has really changed. And if you feel like you're falling behind as kind of the digital world expands, you're not alone. Most people feel this as they start to scale their business. If you think about it, whenever you are creating value, right, you are creating revenue for your business, it's coming from two places. It's coming from either an acquisition or it's coming from a sale. And so if you think about what it takes to make those things happen, right, it takes direct mail marketing on the front end. It takes pay-per-click marketing. It takes email marketing. All of these things, all the ways you're generating leads, you may think of them as leads, but what they really are is results of your marketing efforts. And so it kind of baffles me that our entire industry, our entire niche is predicated on good marketing, but nobody is talking about how do we actually improve our marketing. They're just kind of selling the same outdated tactics and courses that we've seen for the last decade. So part of the land funnel method is, you know, we call this pillar the prospect ecosystem. And so really what I'm talking about throughout this whole thing is how do we build an ecosystem of prospects, whether it's people buying or selling real estate to us. One of the main pillars that we have to focus on is our ecosystem, right? If you think about how a buyer or a seller finds you these days, it goes a little something like this. They maybe get a letter in the mail, a postcard, or they see an ad online. And if they're a good lead, they're gonna do a couple of things. They're probably gonna go to your website. And then after that, they're gonna go to all of your social presence, right? They're gonna look for your company on Facebook, look for your company on Instagram. They're gonna Google you, right? They're gonna see what, you, what comes up on LinkedIn. And the truth is most customers, most people that you're transacting with are gonna go through one, two, or all of those steps. And so it's vitally important that whenever we are focusing on our marketing, we're creating an ecosystem where where if somebody sees you on Facebook or they see you on Instagram, they see your LinkedIn, they see your website, the messaging's the same, right? And it's all pointing them towards the next step of working with you. And look, if you don't focus on these things, you probably are gonna feel something like this. You might feel like you blend in, right? Like you're blending in with other investors. You may see people posting online and saying how they're making sales and getting all these leads and you're wondering what's separating you from them, right? If you look at companies, and not to, <laughs> not to brag, but if you look at my company, if you look at companies like, like Landio, Land.io, right? Um, if you look at companies like Billy Land, you see these people have massive marketing presences. If you click on something on their website, an ad's gonna follow you online. If you look them up on Instagram, you're going to see a consistent messaging with what you're seeing on YouTube and their website. They have a consistent marketing ecosystem. And this is why they do so incredibly well, right? All, and if you really dig into it and look at it, all of their marketing points towards a next step. This is something I'll talk about in later videos, but consistent messaging that points to a next step is what gets customers in your door. Throughout the last two and a half years of building our business past seven figures, I've, I've felt these things. I've been in the struggling investor seat. Hey, I would love if you would join our new generation investor newsletter. Um, hey, we send out an email once or twice a month with tons of great resources, tips, um, and specific offers that we don't give anywhere else. And really our goal is within our whole company, we are trying to create 100 financially free 20 to 40 year olds in the next year. And so we really like to keep you updated on that process. And if you're looking to figure out how you can improve your marketing and um, really start to grow and scale your investing business, we'd love if you check it out.